This is the all new 2020 Dell XPS 159500 and surely you have seen all the cool reviews from some of your favorite YouTubers and in fact there's some of my favorite YouTubers. Shout outs to Everyday Dad and Dave 2 d for some incredible reviews on what is undoubtedly the hottest and best laptop to get in 2020. The slim bezels and amazing industrial design help this Dell XPS 15 inch model simply shine propping comparisons to the 16 inch macbook pro with upward firing speakers and a large trackpad and a beautiful bright 500 nit display with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio which means you get more viewing real estate and that's something i can certainly appreciate dell has created a windows alternative surely to create some debate between windows and mac camps but this is not an XPS versus MacBook review. This is the first things to do on a new XPS 15 9500. In fact, this should also apply to the Dell 13, 15, and 17 inch models. Well, base models, well, all models. We'll get to some of the more advanced things that you could do towards the end of the video that will apply to the base model. So make sure to be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications button for more videos just like this, plus an opportunity to win major prizes on our upcoming live podcast. And uh, Applejack is really excited for that one, aren't you, buddy? So let's jump right into it. So here we have the all new Dell XPS 15 inch base model and a quick look on the sides and you see one USB-C 3.1 with power delivery and display port, a full size SD card reader version 6.0 and of course a 3.5 millimeter headphone microphone combo jack and on the other side a wedge shaped lock slot and two Thunderbolt 3 ports with power delivery and display port. So immediately you're going to see an omission of an Ethernet port and HDMI port. Now Dell solved this with an HDMI adapter, but what about an Ethernet port for those who want to physically connect to their local area network? The answer is this Amazon Basics USB 3.1 Type-C to 3 port USB hub with an Ethernet adapter, as you can see right there. And we also have three USB Type-A 3.1 ports. So this lets you connect additional ports using the standard, more ubiquitous USB-A connectors. And of course you have the ethernet port up here and this is going to be best for file transfer states. And so if you guys wanna go ahead and pick this up, I'll include a link down in the description. So number two, for those who already own this PC, and use it primarily on your laps, but want to avoid barbecue knees, head on over to your Dell Power Manager. And here, you're going to want to click Thermal Management. Once in Thermal Management, you see Thermal Settings, and we have Optimized, and this is what I have. Uh, standard, it's the way it comes out of the box, but for those who want to lap, this laptop and well that makes more sense because it's a laptop you want to go ahead and choose cool now cool it states that the processor and cooling fan speed are adjusted to help maintain a cooler system surface temperature now I've seen a lot of reviews and I checked out the reddits and people are saying it runs hot so make sure you head on over to Dell power manager and use cool Alternatively, you can choose quiet if you feel that the laptop is making too much noise, but expect a performance hit. Next up, we have ultra performance, and this is where I will be setting this laptop for the meantime. So that is number two, the Dell Power Manager. Number three. So as soon as I booted up the PC, I wanted to take advantage of its Wi-Fi 6 capability. I do have a Wi-Fi 6 capable Orbi mesh network, so I was excited. Immediately, I did a speed test. I noticed my speeds were being throttled somewhat, and I can't tell you how disappointed I was because of that. So to fix this is a rather simple solution. Simply head on over to the search bar and in the search bars, you want to type in Killer Control Center. 
Now, once you type this in and you hit enter, you're going to get this application here. You want to go on over to settings. And as you can see here, Advanced Stream Detect is turned on. And I'm going to give you guys a demo of this. We're going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Edge. We're going to head on over to fast.com and we're going to expand this because I want to show you guys not just the download speeds, but also the upload speed. So we show more info and now we are getting upload speed here and this is not inspiring at all but if we go back to killer control center and disable advanced stream detect and then head on over back to fast.com and do another test we're gonna see a improvement on download speeds but not so much download speeds more so upload speeds now, I will be using this PC as a streamer. As you guys can see, a world of a difference. We are near tenfold, over tenfold. So I'm getting the throughput that I would expect from my wireless network. And I'm assuming that once we connect the ethernet adapter, we should uh, also get a noticeable increase. So make sure you guys head on over to Killer Control Center and make sure advanced stream is turned off. All right, so number four, set up Dell Mobile Connect. Now, this works for both iOS and Android, and you can simply do a search in your respective app stores. And with this, you're now able to easily transfer images, files, and video from your mobile device to your PC. You can also review text messages, notifications, and make phone calls directly from your PC as an added bonus, wireless screen mirroring has never been easier. So we're gonna go ahead and do a demo here. And as you guys can see, these are all of my images. Here are some videos that I have that I could go ahead and download and save to my PC. And um, I think Applejack sent me a message. And uh, there we go. Yo! And you get the notification there. So um, Applejack, should we blur out your number so people don't give you a ring? Well, you're not really a celebrity, so don't worry about that, right? Um, but this is a cool tool, especially for students and professionals who are multitasking. And whether you are on iOS or Android, you get everything on your desktop. So shout out to Dell for this implementation. I know it feels very Mac OS-ish. And uh, Applejack, do you have your text messages showing up on your Mac? All the time. Do you think it makes life a little easier? Yes. Number five, guys. For those who plan to stream Netflix or watch a saved movie on their PC while flying through different time zones, then check out Cinema Color. Now, it dramatically boosts colors, saturation, deeper blacks with a cinema style gamut. Now, if you're looking at my monitor, on this end here, you can see it there. It's not gonna show on my external monitor that's actually recording uh, screen. But if I turn it on, you should see a difference of on and off. And seeing is believing, guys. And again, just more vivid colors, uh, deeper blacks, more saturation. And so, yeah. Thank you, Dell, for thinking about us uh, Netflixers and Disney Plusers and Hulu-ers, Hulu-ishers, Hulu-ers. And number six, when you power on your Dell for the first time, you may be scratching your head like, did the screen just dim or did I just experience sudden cataracts? No, it's the screen's auto dimming function. And it drove me crazy until I found a solution. Simply go to the search bar and type Intel Graphics Command Center and the screen should look something like this. From here, you want to select system, and from system, you select power. Once in power, you see some functions and features such as extended battery life for gaming, but what you also see here is adaptive brightness. I have this toggled off, and that's while on battery. You also have to toggle this off for the plug in options so as you can see I have this toggled off and 
I'm no longer suffering from cataracts. So make sure you have those options to top it off. That way the screen's not dimming on you because it was pretty annoying. I, I was like, wait, did I do it? Do I have a faulty device here? And finally, for those who are adventurous, purchase the iFixit kit. Link in the description. This is going to give you all the tools you need to perform RAM and storage upgrades. Again, this is the base model Dell XPS 15 9500, clocking in at $1,299, but offers no upgrade options on the Dell website. Dell, you were slick on that one. To enable options, you have to step up to the $1,749 model. It's still a great deal considering you're getting an upgraded CPU from an i5 4 core CPU to an i7 6 core CPU and a discrete graphics card. But just like in the base model, the RAM and storage space remain anemic at just 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. If Dell is targeting professional students and IT specialists, the i5 processor with boost up to 4.5 gigahertz should be plenty enough. The 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage is probably not going to get anyone excited. But you can upgrade the RAM and the storage yourself. Me personally, I found the 16 gigs of RAM suited more to my needs and adding additional storage was simple as well. We used a Samsung 970 Evo Plus with one terabyte of storage and it's truly amazing what these NVMe solid state drives can do to boost your system performance. And the amount of storage for the size is something of magic. I'll include a link to your everyday data in the description below uh, so you can see how I performed these uber simple upgrades without having to spend more than I needed to. Total cost for these upgrades were just 250 bucks. So there you have it. The first things to do on the all new XPS 15 9500. Make sure to subscribe because we have more reviews coming your way. Plus don't be shy in the comment section below. Let me know what you want me to review next. Please don't make it too expensive. Peace.